The chemistry behind oil spills. Composition of oil. Oil is a finite resource, which means it will eventually run out. However, many companies are carelessly pumping tons of oil every year. Too often, something will go wrong and the ocean will be poisoned by oil. But what makes oil so bad for the environment and what is oil made of? Chemistry and composition of oil. Oil is made of a ancient biomass mostly composed of plankton. It was buried in the mud and over millions of years with very little oxygen the uh, biomass went through incomplete decomposition to become crude oil or natural gas. Crude oil is composed of organic compounds like hydrocarbons and VOCs, also known as volatile organic compounds. Chemistry and composition of oil. What makes oil so poisonous to marine organisms? Crude oil contains high amounts of VOCs high vapor pressure and low water solubility. VOCs cause damage to the liver and kidneys as well as increasing the risk of cancer. Oil attaches to fur and feathers and causes it to lose its re water resistance. This leads to hypothermia in the animals. Chemistry and composition of oil. Why is oil insoluble? Oil is non-polar. However, water is polar. These two cannot mix or dissolve, so the oil floats on top of the water. Eventually, it washes ashore on beaches and damages coastal as well as marine habitats. Causes of oil spills. Now that we know how bad oil is for the environment, we will find out how these spills happen. The main cause of oil spills are accidents involving transport ships and explosions on oil rigs. Can alloys help? Can the ship become more fire resistant? Chemistry of oil tankers. Mostly made of nickel and steel. Steel is the strongest oil alloy that has been made. The strongest steel alloy is iron and nickel. However, metals like titanium and tungsten are much more strong. Ships should be made with stronger metals to prevent oil spills. Tungsten is the strongest metal. It is the strongest because its metallic bonds formed between tungsten atoms by the 5D electrons. Chemistry of oil tankers. Explosions happen when gases are exposed to a source of heat and immersion heaters are usually that heat source. Malfunctions occur and the oil gets exposed to the heat source. Combustion is the reaction that occurs between oil and the heat. The chemistry of oil spill cleanup. Oil spills remain at the top of the ocean surface due to their insolubility. There are many methods where volunteers use bit big nets like skimmers to get the oil in one spot before getting rid of it. There are two main ways to clean up the oil spills from there. Chemicals that bond to the oils and materials that absorb the oils. Chemistry of oil spill cleanup. Dispersants were the main way of cleaning up the deep water oil spill by reaching across the oil water boundary the 
surfactant lowers the tension that keeps the two substance separated. However, these dispersants did more harm than they did good in the environment. The dispersants broke the oil into little drops. These little drops were intended to help the natural oil-eating bacteria break down the hydrocarbons. However, when algal blooms bloomed, they carried the dispersant, then poisoned the animals with the dispersant as the animals ate the algae. There is one dispersant made from cactus that does not do all the same that does do all the same things that the current dispersants do without being so toxic. Thank you for watching.